Guys, there is only a few days left in the Midigen Eclipse giveaway. If you want to enter for your chance to win the car and support the channel and get awesome merch or car parts, check out PowerJDM.com below. Every $1 spent there gets you one entry to win this thing. Enjoy the video. So, even though our Eclipse does not have a working 4G63 anymore, we can still make some awesome progress. We had to tear apart the car anyway to get it all painted and ready to look freaking awesome. And so now that the motor's out of it, we're gonna go ahead and do that. The first step we have to do is to go ahead and disassemble everything. This thing's gotta go back down to a bare shell. All the suspension, all of the accessories, all the front suspension, the fuel tank, all of that's gotta come out. Then we're gonna do some, some fabricating back here. We're gonna try to make some wheel wells. You guys were talking a lot about that and touch up some other little small stuff. And then we're going to paint everything, including all the brackets we've made throughout the course of this build. We're gonna send some of the suspension parts and other components off the powder coat. We're gonna replace some of the bushings, do like all all that kind of stuff. Look, it's gonna be a lot of little tedious things, but by the end of this video, we're hopefully going to have a painted, ready to be reassembled, awesome looking mid-engine eclipse. So, without any further ado, first step is to tear it down. First things first is to drain the fuel. Gotta love that I just topped the tank off right before it blew up. <laughs> these lines really hold lots of water in random places and I just can't even really tell but I'm soaking wet with coolant water which is just lovely. Thinking ahead this time. Everything is out of the rear of the car, the engine bay of the car. <laughs> Looking good. Looking back to where we used to have it. Interior is also now totally disassembled. At least everything that we need to have disassembled is disassembled. Last thing we gotta do is go ahead and take out the fuel tank and that little front rear cross member and take out some of the uh, wiring, throttle cable and stuff from up here. Then we can get to work on some fabrication. <laughs> tank and such is out now. We're keeping the suspension in just, just until a little bit later. These are This is all the brackets in the entire car. It's really actually not as much as I was thinking. A lot of it was welded to the car, so that's why it's not out here. But this is all the removable stuff that we're gonna have to paint. So we're gonna paint all of this. What we're gonna do back here before removing the suspension is go ahead, build some wheel wells. Now they're not gonna be full wheel wells. There's really no way with all the tubing and like the stock chassis here to make full wheel wells and it look good in my opinion. But I will make like a shield in the front and the rear of the tire just to help 
with dust getting in here. It's an engine bay, guys. It's gonna get dirty, unfortunately, even if they had full wheel wells, but it can definitely be better. As you can see, there's like, you know, some mud on the firewall and the window where the tire threw some stuff up and a lot of junk builds up in this little crack, this little, this little corner right here. Then I'm just gonna weld some tabs around for all the wiring harness and all the other stuff to uh, bolt to. So instead of just zip tying it straight to the bar, it's got a place to properly be mounted. So I got the wheel well tacked in. A lot of hammering, cutting, and welding to get it to fit as one piece, but you know, it worked. Obviously, this isn't the perfect wheel well. It's just covering the top of the tire, and it's not actually blocking off the engine bay from the tire. But I want all the access to be here for all the parts for maintenance, and just because it looks cool. This, I think, is a happy medium of, it's gonna help with the engine bay getting dirty, but it's not going to compromise too much on maintenance or looks. So, I'm gonna weld this one up a bit more, and then move on to the other side. So we're also tearing all the suspension parts off individually because we're going to paint a lot of them and we're going to upgrade a lot of the bushings in a lot of them. For instance, this sway bar is like just totally, the bushings are totally blown. But that has me really excited because this car already drove freaking awesome before. And now with upgraded sway bar bushings, subframe control arm bushings, upgraded brakes, this thing's gonna be sweet. For now, we just gotta take the lower control arms off and then drop the subframe out.
uh, mini wheel wells are done, we're gonna go ahead and uh, weld some tabs to hold the wiring harness and some other stuff. Since you guys were upset that I zip tied the uh, wiring harness for the back here just straight to the bar, I'm welding these brackets on so I can zip tie it to that instead. Now instead of the round piece of metal, it's a flat piece of metal. Heck yeah. One last thing we gotta do before we start prepping this back area for paint is take out the side windows. A lot of you guys were mentioning how we should take out the side windows and put in some NACA ducts or some sort of ventilation. Well, you guys thought ahead because my boy Ding Dong Drift made me some incredible, huge 3D printed NACA ducts. Science means that these work really well at letting air in and out. So we're gonna put these side windows. Um, not exactly sure how we're gonna make it work because these things are really big. It would look better like this, but that's backwards. We'll figure something out, but either way, Side windows have to go bye bye. Nice. Comes off just like that. Mitsubishi designed a six sport. We got the two uh, hatch windows out, and now we can start prepping the car for paint. So we gotta sand it, then we gotta clean it, and then we gotta start taping stuff off. is sanded and cleaned up. Wasn't necessarily the most fun thing to sand this entire back portion, but it's looking really, really good. Now we gotta tape it up. We're painting all the window frame, we're painting the inside, we're painting the cage. So really, we just gotta tape up the outside of the car and obviously the window. So we're painting the cage and like the inside chassis all the same. We're gonna be painting it with black steel it, and that's pretty much solely for the purpose that if we need to weld something to it, we can. For the rest of the parts, we've got other really cool paint coming that's got a bit more colors, 2K paint, so it'll last a little bit longer. But this stuff is great because then we can weld on it if we need to. Hopefully we don't have to, but we'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and just paint it all black with steel it. I've used this stuff a couple times comes out really quickly, so I'm hoping I'm not gonna get any runs on the paint. I'll try my best. Hoping we don't get um, overspray everywhere. We've got as much stuff taped off as we can, and we've got the big fan that will turn on, and that will really help, but um, I'm gonna take it nice and slow. That way we don't you know, build up a bunch of 
paint in the air and get overspray every, over, over everything. And I can't imagine steel it overspray is easy to get, get off. That took way more paint than I was expecting. We only got one layer on everything, but thankfully steel it does cover really, really, really well. So everything's pretty good. Firewall is a bit splotchier than I wanted, but you're not really gonna see it once it's all assembled because there's gonna be an engine in the way. Everything else though looks great. You know, there's steel all over me, steel all over the floor. Definitely got overspray everywhere, but I mean, this thing looks freaking awesome. I know I wanted to have more done by the end of this video, but I've got a lot more to go and I'm trying to get, to get videos out a little bit quicker. That's gonna be it for this video. In the next video, we are going to paint all the accessories. Come on over. So all of this metal stuff we're gonna paint. We're gonna take the bushings out of all the subframes, the control arms, and paint all that. And then we're gonna start reassembling things. Also, I do wanna share with you guys, big news. Since we've gone through two used 4G63s in less than a thousand miles, I'm biting the bullet, and I am having a fully built short block built for the Eclipse. It's not a used motor, it's freshly machine built. And that means that the giveaway is probably going to end before the car is done, but the car is still going to be finished, obviously, before it gets delivered to its new owner. The giveaway will close for entries, We'll finish the car, announce the winner, dial the car in, and then deliver it to the new owner. But I just wanted to share that this thing's getting a fully built motor, so that's pretty freaking awesome. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. If you do want to watch it, you can click up there or check out the link in the description to Patreon. That really supports the channel, so thank you to anyone who does that. And yet again, if you do want to enter for your chance to win this mid-engine eclipse, every $1 spent on PowerJDM.com gets you one entry. See you guys in the next one.